Hi, Bruno Jr. here. Our podcast, Busting Addiction and Smiths, is sponsored by SafeHouseRehab.com. SafeHouse believes that traditional treatments fall short of the needs of clients who face the modern problems of addiction. Modern problems need modern solutions. Multiple addictions, multiple relapses, multiple triggers, and cheaper and more powerful street drugs set up unprecedented challenges facing treatment centers. What is needed is a more sophisticated approach a better way forward. There are three reasons to choose our progressive modern treatment program. One, a more sophisticated intake process. Two, technology proven to enhance recovery. And three, the most robust aftercare program in our sector. To learn more, visit us at safehouserehab.com. Signs of a sick relationship. Well, there are several different kinds of sick relationships. I'm going to address a relationship where there's an alcoholic or an addict in the house. It doesn't have to be the case for sick relationships to actually take place. There are relationships that are symbiotic. There are relationships where one acts as a catalyst for another to do harm to others. There are those relationships where you know they're both they both are grifters. They take advantage of society. You know they live a certain life. But the type of relationship I want to address is a sick relationship that, take, you know, that exists between an alcoholic addict and, and members of the family. Or, let's put it this way, let's say that there's a woman who's married to an addict uh, husband or boyfriend. So instead of telling, you know, here, 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 first of all, there's no truth telling. Nobody ever really tells the truth. So they're afraid or they disguise their feelings. So it isn't as if they can confront their honest feelings like, Really, I'm angry because, you know, there'll be some aggression. Somebody might throw something. Somebody might say something, you know, sarcastically. So nobody really addresses the emotional truths. Another thing that happens is that there's manipulation going on. So that, you know, there may be hinting of certain things instead of coming out and asking for for that to take place. A sick relationship is where you don't hold yourself accountable. You blame it on somebody else. A sick relationship is where instead of being straight up and asking for what you need or telling how you feel, it it comes out in other ways. A sick relationship is, you know, a highly needy relationship where, you know, I'll give you an example where, you know, let's say the man is out doing his chores or the woman is out doing her chores and there's some trips to, oh, Home Depot and then another store and another store and that person by itself. The, in a sick relationship, that person gets 10 phone calls, like, where are you? What are you doing? That sort of neediness. The need to know and the need to control, if you will, the other person's behavior is a sign of, of a sick relationship. The other thing that happens, too, is that there's a pretense that, and maybe this is a reality, that that person cannot live without the other person. So that they are inextricably tied to the other person's identity and you you end up not knowing whose agenda you're working are you working somebody else's agenda or are you working your agenda and when there's confusion there that's definitely a sign of a sick relationship then there is also you know the part about verbal abuse which shouldn't happen in a healthy relationship there's the part of violence which shouldn't happen in a healthy relationship there's the issue about lying uh, not truth telling, uh, whether it's about your feelings or about where you were that day. There is no truth telling as to your intentions. You know what I what I really want to do is I want you to love me more than you know you've ever loved anybody else. Some kind of crazy uh, you know fantasy that exists, and that other person is constantly asking for reassurance. So there's a lot of symptoms of a sick relationship, and there are fewer symptoms of a healthy one because insanity is infinite, and sanity has its limits. Our podcast is sponsored by SafeHouseRehab.com, a modern approach to recovery. To learn more, visit us at SafeHouseRehab.com.